Warning. No animals were hurt in the making of this film. All operations were handled by professionals in a professional environment. Please do not try anything you are about to see at home. Fellas, let me get a little one-on-one -on -one time with you. Women love men who can cook. Apparently, men who involve themselves in the culinary arts are a huge turn-on for women. And I agree, the world is changing. Naturally, we as men must adapt to these changes. But little did these ladies know. I'm actually one of the greatest chefs the world has ever seen. Gentlemen, today I will show you how to be a five-star meal cook. And you will truly learn how to be a gentleman. <laughs> One advice that a chef can give you, it's to always find your own ingredients. You don't go to the supermarket, you don't know where they've been, you don't know what kind of toxins, GMOs, MSG, ASL, ALS. Yes, they've all been in there. It's disgusting, so why not go find your own ingredients, you know? Only the best chefs have their own farms, you know? Only the best, the best butchers have their own stock houses, livestock. So naturally, the best street cook would have his own alleyway. You know, let's take a look around here. You can find the most edible cuisine probably around. Oh. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we got one. You find real gems like this, you know, this is a, this is a real, this is a dead rat. Take a look at its face, you, know, you can tell it really had a horrible death. So we got ourselves a real good find over here. You know, cute little rat. You know, this is one of the cleaner ones, you know, there's, there were some that uh, were obviously in some terrible accidents. <laughs> yeah, baby. You see, after finding a lot of, a lot of disgusting ones, we finally got our hands on another healthy one right here. You know, it's got a little bit of a bloody mouth. Though. I don't know what he's been eating. Maybe he's been gnawing on some, uh, on some uh, humans. You know, the fact that we got all limbs right here. You see the fingers and the. The toes right here, it's really cute. You know, presentation is everything when it comes to a five-star meal. Look at a flick of the wrist. Look at a flick of the wrist. <laughs> You're not gonna find any good stuff here. Fresh produce. <laughs> what a joke. It ain't off the streets. <laughs> <laughs> you call that street food? We spent a total of six hours looking for more ingredients. The two wraps we found were perfect, but not good enough for what we had planned. Just as we thought we were running out of luck, we found it. Yo, holy fucking shit. <laughs> we got ourselves a real gem. We got, it. We got ourselves a, a, a dead, dead baby rat. Don't worry, Peter, it's already dead. The fact that it's a baby makes it soft and tender. It's like biting into cartilage. And it's like biting into like a little baby human's ear. And uh, it's gonna taste really good in this fine, fine cuisine that we're gonna cook tonight. Shit, it's the police. <laughs> See, the good thing is in these, uh, in these dumps, you know, this is where rats come to lay, lay their children. You can always find, uh, if you look hard enough, you can always find, like, some babies.
But he did. Wow. They're dead. We're good to go. We seem to have found a failed, failed nest. <laughs> Welcome to the Filthy Frank Show. I mean, honestly, what kind of mother would just leave their children here to die? This is really sad, you know, like... Oh, man. We should go home and start cooking. So today, uh, we got, uh, we got the rats finally, and uh, we're gonna start the cuisine. Some fine tortilla flaps right here. We're gonna make a fine rat quesadilla. For the second one, we got the water cooking. And we're gonna make a nice rat soup. Break that in half. And we're gonna put a little bit in, just a little bit. Let it simmer for a bit, you know? While we let it simmer, we're gonna make good use of that time. We're gonna, we're gonna make a nice rat quesadilla, huh? And so we got the quesadilla. Slowly put our, <laughs> our little friend into the quesadilla. And we're gonna, we're gonna let it, we're gonna just, just let it sit there for a while. I don't wanna see this. So you can see here that the noodles are almost ready. You know, there's only a little bit in there. You don't want the noodles to be the main part of the, the main part of the meal, because obviously it's gonna be the rat. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have some uh, broth, some MSG broth in here. We're gonna, we're gonna throw a little bit in there. So anyways, I got the broth, you can cover it with a little bit of broth. You know, you gotta tenderize the meat, you know, it's like Kobe beef. You know, and that also makes it look, you can't look into its eyes anymore because it's covered. So you can't see the de demonic, uh, and you don't have to feel guilty about yourself. Now we can look at the quesadilla, right? A little salt on there, you know, it's gonna look good. This is a real five-star meal right here, let it soak it. We got a nice broth soup, like a little bit of, a little bit of a Chinese thing going, you know. Now we, we get old Stuart, Stuart Little here. <laughs> And we, and we drop him in the soup. The babies are the most, they're the softest. I'm telling you right now, this is the bomb. Parlez-vous mm. mm. français? We got the softest, softest rat babies here in the best part of town. We're gonna roll them up into a, more of like a churro. So we're gonna line them up here. You know, honestly, there's no difference between this and a rotisserie chicken or any kind of animal that, that is edible. Rats are edible. I've seen homeless people do it. I do it. My cousin, my cousin Murphy does it. He lives on a, he lives, uh, I'm not gonna tell you. We got a baby rat churro. We got a rat quesadilla. And a rich, protein-filled rat soup. Mmm, mmm. I'd be jealous of the person that's gonna try this. And today we have our good old special friend, the shaman. And uh, he's gonna come through to try some of our cuisine. He doesn't know what it is. Hey, 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 hey man, how good, are man? you? I'm good, are you hungry? I'm fucking starving. Good, because we have some five-star cuisine for you. I made it myself. I've gotten into uh, some uh, some street food lately, some ratatouille. Yes, on the table? Oh yeah, it's on the table. It's on the house, buddy. Yes. It's on the house. By the way, nice outfit. What the hell is this guy talking about? So yeah, you know, I prepared uh, a nice dish for you. You know, it's, uh, it's made out of... Uh, it's a, I wanted to incorporate some real street food. It's, it's, my, it's my artistic vision. You know, we got, we got a fresh, steamy broth soup. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, got a, we got a tortilla. Yeah. We got two tortillas, actually. Alrighty, we got now, a we're talking, now we're talking, oh, Frank. You know we're talking. Yeah, baby. Yeah. All right, here it is. Here it is, boy. It's, uh, try it out. We got a nice, creamy broth. Alrighty. And a nice, creamy stew. We got a nice, uh, Nice tortilla and a, and a churro. <sighs> Check it out. Frank. Oh. Thank you. My pleasure, man. It's just, it's my art and it's my vision. And I just really want you to share that vision with me. It's malissimo, you know, it's a fantastic. Alright. It's my vision. This is awesome. It's awesome, yeah? Thank you. Yeah? Check it out, man. You should test it out, you know. It's... It's my mama's recipe. It's my mom. Open the open the churro. <laughs> oh 
Oh, the chair out. Frank, what is this? <laughs> it's my mom's recipe. Frank, what is this? It's my mom's recipe. <laughs> that hamsters. They're not hamsters, they're rats. It's real, it's ratatouille. <laughs> Look, dude, honest, honestly, I don't see a pro, I don't see a problem. But, uh... <laughs> oh, shit. Hey! <laughs> you don't respect my art! <laughs> Shaman! Stop! Stop, it's not that bad! Fuck you, this isn't funny, okay? This is, this is not supposed to be funny. This is my art. This is marissimo. It's a marissimo. It's a, it's a family recipe. It's a marissimo. Uno mas. It's a marissimo. It's a marissimo. Hey. Open the door. Frank, this is not art. This is satanic. This is fucked up. You're a sick man, Frank. You respect my art. <laughs> It's, it's my mom's recipe. You don't serve dead rats to me, man. That's not just a fucking fucking joke or something, Frank. No, it's my mom's recipe. What the fuck your mother's recipe, Frank? Stop. Why are you boring me, man? Frank, I'm not boring you, man. I'm, j I'm just being real with you, man. I was fucked up, okay? I was really fucked up, Frank. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Frank. Mm. I'm sorry, man. Mm. Frank, I'm sorry, man. You don't respect my art. I do. I'm sorry. I just, I just flipped out there. I apologize, all right? You don't respect my art. Why, why did we invite you over here? Frank, Frank, I respect your art, man. You do? I do. You liked it? I loved it. Really? Yes. Then will you eat it? No. I'm like, Frank, look, man. If you really put your mind to it, you can become the best fucking chef in the world. Really? Yes. Just not with dead rats. <laughs> but it's, but I, it's my passion. Well, you just gotta turn it down a little bit, Frank. Okay. All right. Thanks, Shaman. You know what? You're a really good friend of mine. I love you. I love you too. Will you kiss me? No. You've been a really good guy today, even though you did shout all over my passion. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you a token of appreciation for being such a nice guy. Oh, Frank, you don't have to, man. Here. Here you go. Frank, what the fuck, man? What the fuck did we just talk about, Frank? Frank, you're fucked up. What did we just talk about? I don't appreciate my heart. Frank, Frank, you're sick. You're fucking sick in the head, Frank. Come back. Stop. Come on now. Don't be like that. I don't get it. He doesn't appreciate my heart. It's filthy, Frank. Motherfucker, it's filthy Frank, bitch. Let's get some pussy tonight. Why buy a gun when you can get your friends at school to kill you? Wearing these stupid ass t-shirts. You got the, you know, the tail. Tail's still intact. <clears throat> Nothing, we are filming. Filming what? Filming. Filming? Film festival. Oh. Yes. We found a, found a mouse. A mouse? Yes. Ugh. Ugh. Dead in there. <laughs> yeah. And you are filming the, the, the mouse? Oh, yeah. It's, it's for cuisine. Oh, can you throw it to the garbage? Yes, of course. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Good. Oh, disgusting, yeah. So you see here, the tail's still intact. You know, it's a cute little rat. Oh man, probably had a family. <laughs> yeah, how you doing, man? <laughs> Dude, Pierre here. We're cooking a, cooking up some real meals. 